Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at copying and pasting. Not necessarily other people's code, but the ability to both duplicate a post or whatever other model you want and give it a temporary name, or the ability to instead copy a post and then update this to whatever you would like. So we'll say hello world. And then we can go back and we'll see this hello world post right here is uh, just copied that way. So it's two different ways to do this. It's ultimately gonna depend on what your implementations are, but it's two things I've had people ask about in the past. And honestly, it doesn't make sense to make a separate video for each. So we're just gonna do each one in this video. We're gonna say Rails new video, then we'll go ahead and CD into it and run a code dot to get started. All right, we're done here. Let's go over to our VS code. Now let's start by running a scaffold. We'll say Rails G scaffold post with a title of type string and some content of type text. Go ahead and run that. We'll do a DB colon migrate afterwards to migrate our database. Then we'll do a Rails S to go ahead and start our server. We can then come over to our config and our routes.rb. Let me hit control plus so you can actually read what I'm typing in here. Uh, so inside of our routes.rb, we're gonna wanna do a couple things. And this is gonna depend on what you want to do here. Uh, in this case, we're going to start with the duplicate method. So we're just going to say this needs to have a do block, which means it needs an end. And we're just going to do a post to the duplicate one first. And then we'll say this needs to happen on member. So this is going to be our uh, like post method where we click on the button and then it does the duplication on the back end. So let's come over to our app, our con well, let's go into our views, our posts, and let's go into our post index. Now, ideally, when we come over to localhost port 3000, I'd like this to just be our index page. So let's go ahead and let's do a root to the post controller index action. That should then allow us to refresh and go to here. And then let's just go ahead and create one post so we can test with us. Just do the usual test case. Then we'll tab back and go back to the home page. So what we wanna do here in our index uh, post thing is ideally we just wanna abstract everything out of here. So instead of having this render post and the show this post button, I'm gonna go ahead and just do something like a render for post slash indexed post. And then I'm gonna pass in the post. The reason why I'm doing this is just because we're gonna be using turbo and I kind of wanna keep these things in their own partial. So we'll go ahead, we'll create a new file, underscore indexed underscore post dot HTML dot ERB. You don't have to do this if you just wanna create a basic duplicate button. This is mostly just in that specific case where you wanna use turbo as well to have the duplicate happen without reloading the page. So now we have this indexed post. We kinda of wanna change the show button to also be a partial. So we're gonna go ahead and do a render or post slash links, and then we'll pass in the post as well. We can then come over to our posts folder, right click new file underscore links.html.erb. And then inside of our links, we can have this show this post button. We can then go ahead and add in a little bar and then we can say after we show this post, we then want to do a link to, let's do the delete one first. So because we're using Rails 7 for the delete, we're going to use a uh, link to delete. It's going to go to the post, the method delete and the data turbo method delete are going to allow this to work with turbo. So we can come over here, refresh, and now we have this delete button right here. And anytime you want to update these, you just update this link partial. It'll update the index post, which will update everything inside of this iterable uh, loop here. But okay, this allows us to delete something. So if I do one and two, click create, go back, I can now go ahead and delete this. It will refresh the page, but that's fine. We're not worried about turbo for this delete button, really. Instead, what I want to do is I want to come between the uh, show this post and the edit this post. We can add in the edit button real quick. Sure, I guess Copilot wants that. doesn't matter. So we'll go between the show and the edit. Uh, and then in here, we'll do our duplicate button. So we'll say link to duplicate. We'll have this go to the duplicate post path with a data that has the turbo, oops, turbo underscore method, colon, colon, post. Not sure if that's needed, that's just what's in my notes. So if we come over to our routes, you can see the duplicate is on the post. So the reason why we're using duplicate underscore post is because duplicate is on the resources for the posts or on member, which means we can just set up the routes like this. If we refresh, you'll see that no route matches action duplicate for the controller post because we're missing a uh, required key. This is gonna be similar to what we get with the edit post if we don't have this uh, post being passed in. So let's go ahead and let's pass in the post. We can then refresh. 
And now we can see we have this duplicate button, but we do need to add the little pipe afterwards just for the sake of consistency. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and let's try clicking this button. If we click it, we'll get an error in the console. It'll tell us that the action doesn't exist probably. Right here, action not found. So let's come over to our controllers and our post controller. This is kind of where we just have to set up the rest of our logic. So for the duplicate one, we'll come down here to the bottom. We'll just do a quick little def, duplicate, and, and then in here what we want to do is once again, we want to find our post based on the params of the post ID, which means we're using set post. So we can actually just add duplicate up here and that will allow us to use our at post inside of this method. We can then say, all right, we need a new post, which is going to be equal to post.dupe. And then optionally here, this is where you can set your new title. So you can say at new post.title is equal to uh, something like at post.title plus copy. But of course, this is going to become one of those things where you just keep appending copy to it. So maybe you also want to add in like the, the time or whatever. The issue with this is you do have to be aware if you make a duplication of a duplication, you'll be appending both of these. Uh, so this really is going to depend on how you want to do this. I'm going to leave it like this just so you have like this as the uh, more complete example, but it's really going to depend on how you want to set this up. We can then do a respond to do format where we do a if post.save and the rest of this is just GitHub Copilot being auto-completed, but it's the basic stuff from like our other update or uh, our create methods, right? So all of that's basically the same thing. If we do this, we can come over here, we can uh, refresh, we can hit enter, and then we can hit duplicate. If we scroll up, we can see here, if we did all this stuff, we get the green text that tells us we've duplicated, and then we get redirected to this, this post, which has our new title on it with the copy text and then the time inside of it. If we go back, you can see that right there. Let's go ahead and let's delete that though. What I would rather have happen here is say uh, something like a format.turbo stream and then we can do a do block and an end block this is fine uh alternatively you can also just do a format turbo stream instead of having i mean this is what it's ultimately going to look like instead of having this inside of your your block you can just leave it as a format turbo stream and then in your post you can right click new file and just call this duplicate dot turbo underscore stream dot erb it just needs to match whatever the action is so that's why we call it duplicate and then in here we can do something similar where we just do a turbo stream for this thing. So we're going to do a turbo stream dot append uh, for the posts, which is the uh, div that we are targeting right here. So we're appending to this div with an ID of posts. We then give it a partial, which is our indexed post. So we're appending an indexed post, which is just another one of these posts right here. And then we're passing in the locals, which are going to be, uh, we're going to pass in the post of at new post, which is of course what we called that new post in our controller right here, this at new post. So after it saves, we'll then have access to it right here. We can come over here and refresh. And now we can click duplicate and you can see without refreshing the page, it's just going to have this uh, set on it. And we can test this even by just like highlighting this, clicking duplicate. You can see I'm still highlighting the title of test without needing to refresh the page. So there's our duplication button. Now let's go ahead and let's just do our copy button real quick because now that you've seen this, you can see how quickly you can set something like this up. First things first, we're going to click a link to a copy for the new, uh, new from copy post path. In our routes, we need to add our uh, copy in here. And this is going to be uh, whatever we have right here. So new from copy is what we called it. So we'll just add in a git to new from copy on member. Go ahead and save that. And then once we have this, we can save this. And then we're going to have to come over to our post controller and create this action. This action is just going to be the new from copy app action. So we can actually just come down here and do a def new from copy. And, and I'll give you a second to try and think of what this needs to look like. First, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab the original post, which we have with at post right here. So we can actually just come up here and we can add in this new from copy. And then we can come down here inside of our new from copy. We now have an at post, which means we can grab a uh, duplicate or we can even say at new post, right? At new post equals original post dot DUP. But in this case, our original post is gonna be our at post. So we can say at post equals or at new post equals post dot dupe. And then we can actually just change this to be at post equals uh, at post.dupe. And then we can grab the uh, render for a new. 
So after we do this, we're then going to go ahead and render the new action, which is gonna take us up here. And then whenever we have a new action, uh, we're gonna have the, uh, the create setup for us there as well. So if we come in here and we click copy on, let's say this test case, it takes us to post slash one slash new from copy. I'll go ahead and change this to like Mario and Luigi or something. The create post. You can see this is post.6. So this is our sixth one now. And we have this one at the bottom. We can then go ahead and like duplicate this if we want to. Mario copy. Uh, we can delete it and we can delete, you know, the rest of these as well if we want to. Uh, and all of this is going to work just how you would, just like how you would expect it to. So again, these aren't like, it's not super advanced topics here. This is pretty, pretty standard stuff, I would say. Uh, but it is something that, you know, occasionally you get the question asked and it's like, how do I set this up? I think once you see the pattern once or twice, you start to understand that it's actually not that hard. It's just create the route, create the link, create the action, and then you're pretty much good to go. If you want to do turbo, you just create a turbo that corresponds to the action or a turbo stream. Make sure you name it uh, .turbo stream .erb, And then you can just go ahead and do your regular turbo stream stuff in here. And then make sure that when you target a div with an ID, that you have a div with an ID on the page where you want to do that too. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully this was informative and helpful, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.